Have I said thank you yet? If not, just remind me, and I will, twice a day, like atmospheric suppositories. I mean, most women aren't so forgive and forget. I, uh, probably shouldn't keep reminding you not to trust me. Believe me, it's not something I'll forget. All right, all right. You don't need to spell it out. By the way, can you tell that Corso guy to maybe see a doctor about his snoring? How does anyone sleep on this ship? Just, uh, uh, tell me if you need anything, Captain. Uh, I'll be on the comm link, trying to order some decent food. So, what was it like, Noctrayan? I'd been asking Risha, but she gets all weird and prickly about it. She actually walked out when I said that it'd make a better story if you turned out to be Noctrayan's long-lost daughter or something. Even Rogan was impressed when he heard you dug up the old man's treasures. What did Rogan say about me? Well, it started with the blasters, but mostly he got mad after you dodged his assassins. It was a pride thing. Then when you hooked up with the lady senator, whoo, he hated her. He was after you just to get you out of her hands. But none of this is news. I want to hear about you. Did you always know this was what you wanted to do? I'd like to imagine your parents programmed janitorial droids, and this was your way out of the family business. Can't ask for better, kid. Complete strangers give you credits to have the time of your life. I wish my old Jedi Master could meet you. He'd have a harder time selling the whole deprivation is the key to happiness thing. I guess you've been wondering how someone like me ever ended up with the Jedi, huh? It's the duty of a Jedi to train anyone Force-sensitive, so they don't fall to the dark side. Boy, you've picked up the party line. I was always kind of the odd one out in my family. And believe me, it was not a small family. When they kicked me out, I went to Nar Shadda and met a Jedi who said all the weird stuff that happens to me is a connection to the Force. That must have been amazing. At first, I was imagining myself winning lightsaber duels, getting revenge on all the kids who laughed at me. But it turns out revenge isn't part of the Jedi lifestyle. You've never known real rage until you've been lectured on controlling your emotions by a four-year-old in a robe. Avoid sanctimonious Jedi brats. Noted. The kids were prigs, but at least they didn't pity me. The way my master used to look at me. I couldn't spend my life being the Jedi class clown, you know. It was obvious I wasn't going to master the Force. Never even figured out how to work my dead master's lightsaber. So, have I been looking any more convincing with the lightsaber? I mean, it's about as much use to me in a fight as a glow-in-the-dark belt buckle. But I figure if I wave it around, maybe it'll scare people off. You think you can get me one of those? I'll keep my eye out. This was the only lightsaber we had, you know, in the whole Enclave. I wasn't in the Jedi Academy proper. Never made it that far. My master ran a recruitment center on Nar Shadda. I don't think he had the guts to actually bring me out in public. I thought all Jedi trained at the Academy. There's always a few who slip through the cracks. I need you to teach me to fight dirty. You'd think I'd be good at that, you know? But when it gets beyond cowering in doorways, I'm pretty much all point and shoot. Show me how you work your magic. I usually aim below the belt. I hear that works really well on humans. They should make every Jedi kid spend time in a war zone. When you see what real Sith are like, it makes my blood run cold. And don't make any fish jokes there. I'm serious. It makes you see why the Jedi make such a big deal about not giving in to the dark side. Thinking about going back? I am. But right now, I'm in your crew, and I can't ask for anything better. But Master Lauren was right. The road to the dark side starts with things we all feel. Jealousy. Greed. They're all the seeds of it. I'd rather spend the rest of my life meditating on a cold rock than turn into that. You know, you're the kind of gal you know when she's mad, and you know when you've made her laugh. Master Lauren was just ice. You had no idea if he even knew you were in the room. 
The fart jokes are a dead giveaway. Yeah, Master Lauren hated those. If I'd been able to make him laugh, I wouldn't have had to be such a wretch. But you know, you say hello, you get back, study more. Then you go release Kowaki and monkey lizards in the Master's mess. That's just how it goes. Captain, I just want to say thank you. I could never have imagined you would put up with me for this long. When I first came on board with you, I thought it was going to be a few weeks at most before you left me on some isolated moon. Keep me laughing and you've got a bunk on this ship forever. Have you heard this one? There once was a Moncal from Dac. He wore a jetpack on his back. He liked to shoot blasters and fly even faster. He was a Mando Cal attack. No? Well, I'll come up with a better one. You're like my family, Captain. No one else has ever given me the kind of trust and respect I've had here. I'll never leave you. <laughs>